continuing with our Cyberlink 9 tutorials, and today I'm going to talk about rendering. Well, um, people want to know, some guy asked me, he's like, what is the best format to render? Well, what I always use is, I always use MPEG-2, HD MPEG-2, 1080i. That's what I use for all of our videos, even this video. And um, it's basically the best quality you're going to get out of um, Cyberlink. Um, it's not 1080p. Um, 1080i is slightly not as good as um, 1080p. 1080p is the best. But it's not a big difference. And um, YouTube, um, if you upload a 1080i video to YouTube, YouTube will recognize it as a 1080p video. Which it, it's not a big deal. But... um. It's kind of a way to trick YouTube. Um, one thing I hate about MPEG-2 is it will literally, a five minute video will literally use over 300 megabytes. Um, let's say you want to do um, a 15 minute video. It will be um, almost two gigabytes. And um, that's really going to slow you down when it gets to uploading time. Um, MPEG-2 is really, really fast to render. It'll do it quick. But when you want to upload it on YouTube, it will take forever. Now, with WMV, WMV will literally, like, okay, well, let, let me show you guys something. Down here, it gives you an estimation of how much memory it's about, it, the video uses. All right, MPEG-2 in um, 1080i, it uses 35 megabytes. Now, let's do WMV in a 1080p format. 18 18 megabytes versus 35 for a 10 no for a 14 second video and as you guys can see the longer your video gets um, the more that's gonna slow you down when it gets to YouTube another thing I like about the WMV format is um, you guys might not notice this but the WMV format does have slightly better audio bitrate which means um, the audio, WMV can basically handle higher quality audio than MPEG-2 can, which, will mean, which means your videos will sound better. Now, um, one thing that um, is, is really annoying is I uploaded a video to YouTube in this full HD quality, and for some strange reason, it only goes up to 720p. This is supposed to be a 1080p. It's supposed to be better than the 1080i in MPEG-2, which is kind of strange. I don't know if YouTube was just having issues or whatever, but um, I'd recommend using um, the WMV. See, the thing is, here's the catch. It might use a lot less memory, but it takes a lot longer to render. And um, once it's rendered, it will literally go on YouTube real quick because of how little memory it uses. And um, the, the best part is you're not risking quality at all. MPEG-2 looks basically the same. There's no, no difference in the way it looks. It's the same quality. And with WMV, you get better audio and a lot less memory, which is really good. Um, another thing I want to talk about is AVI. AVI has... um. It's not really something I would use for YouTube. Um, maybe um, you're going to put it on a... Just to put it on your computer and you want it to um, use... You know, actually, I'm not sure what you could possibly use AVI for. It's, it's, not a, it's not a good quality format. It uses tons of memory. So, if you're, you're a YouTube... Um, if you're a YouTuber, I wouldn't use AVI. I would stick with MPEG-2. WMV. Now let's say you have a short video, you might as well use MPEG-2. If you're going to make a really long video, go with the WMV. Um, commentaries, use WMV. Don't use MPEG-2 just because of the audio with WMV. MPEG-4 doesn't really go to high definition. So, um, I really wouldn't use that for YouTube either. And movie, this would be basically, um, a quick time format. Um, it does go to full HD. It works in the quick time player. It doesn't work with the Windows player. It's the only thing it actually works with. <laughs> so, um, I would stick with WMB and MPEG-2 because those work on both Macs and PCs. That's about it. Don't forget to go to legendaryreviews.com for reviews. 
downloads, and much more.